Every time there's a new year, people make resolutions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think one of the biggest resolutions that people always make is, I'm going to lose weight. Yes, I I'm going to live one. healthy. Lose weight, eat healthy. Uh, basically. Um, but. Morning, Ed. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> you just jump in before. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Alba. So. What you have for us this morning? And well, it we'll doesn't look like different. exercise, right? No, so. we'll try only something different for the new year, you know. Um, we talk a lot about exercise and nutrition, how they work together. Um, basically, exercise is like 30%, right? The big thing is nutrition and lifestyle. That's mm -hmm. 70%. Mm -hmm. And we always talk about how you cannot win a battle you cannot out exercise poor nutrition so anyway we wanted to um to basically look at supplementation look at um nutrition how is the best way to give this body of ours this wonderful body what it needs it needs nourishment there are certain specific nutrients that it needs and um we have a big challenge today, being able to provide that because of the fact that, number one, we're dealing with processed foods, food that man tampered with. Mm -hmm. the fo these foods are devoid of these nutrients. Not only are they devoid of the nutrients, but they have all these other, what we call suspect additives that cause all kinds of health problems that we are experiencing today. Um, besides that, today, the foods, even the ones that are so-called natural, they don't have the nutrients mm -hmm. in them because, um, you know, the source is depleted, see? So now what we have to do is figure out how we're going to, um, how we're going to give the body what it needs. And that's a big challenge. Um, one of the most important things to understand is the, 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 the pharmaceutical companies and all the big companies, they have these multivitamins on the shelves yeah. right? and people buy them in good faith thinking that well you know I'm trying to give my body what it needs but the truth is, is that these are treated for shelf life most of the time and this very same treatment for shelf life makes them bio unavailable <laughs> right in, the, in other words you know you you get these whole vitamins going right through your body and um, nurses know about this because they have the bedpan, so they, ha they call them bedpan bullets. Mm. Vitamins goes right through the patients, bam, dropping. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, but the bottom line is this, that the food today, right? You know, back in the 50s, for example, the nutrients that you would get out of one pound of spinach, today, you have to consume like 70 pounds to get the same amount of nutrients because you know, the source is depleted. But um, the best way to get these micronutrients is, is juicing. It's a, it's a very good thing, right? Now, I'm not advocating that people start drinking their calories because I say eat your calories. Don't drink your calories. But as far as getting um, micronutrients, as far as like juicing vegetables and stuff like that, you see, the, these juicers, they do the same work that your digestive tract would have mm. to do. Right? So now you want to consume a lot of vegetables, a lot of raw food. We, we, I ad, we advocate 85% raw, at least, if not 100%, but the most people can't handle 100% raw, right? <laughs> so we compromise a little bit. But 85% um, raw is kind of like, you know. But with the, with the raw foods now, we, we, we get the feeling of being full, right? When we consume these vegetables with the fiber. And in addition to that, now, the juices give us the additional micronutrients that we need to be able to provide the body with what it really needs. So anyway, I don't want to be talking, talking, <laughs> talking. Let's get down to business. We have some guests here with us this morning. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be uh, showing us how to make, or the chef uh, will be showing us how to make some healthy drinks. How right? to make some healthy juice using naturally healthy raw stuff and and basically they, they 
tell us a little bit about their establishment and what they do, of course. So, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm Chef India Camille. I am a special nutritionist, so I'm a living food nutritionist. I deal with raw food. Or we call it living foods for a living body because all of our bodies are living bodies. You know, inside the cells are moving, everything's interacting, and that means that we must put, as Ed says, nutrients into our system that are alive. We own a business inside the Bliss called Cafe Back to Life and that's where we sell vegan living foods. We also have sometimes some cooked foods as well because it is important for people to transition mm -hmm. into living foods. So I'm here today to show you some of our smoothies that we have. We make smoothies, but when we make a smoothie, we don't use any ice, we don't use any milk, we don't use any sugar. We actually use all natural sweeteners, all natural stuff, you know? We can find natural sugar in the juices that we make and use that as a base for our smoothies instead of actually using syrup and water and things like that. It is a little bit more pricey, but it's better for our bodies in the long run. So um, I will hop right into it. Uh, we are going to make two smoothies here. The first smoothie that we have, I call it the Super Punch Up Smoothie. It's super protein and it's excellent, excellent, excellent for women. We talk about phytonutrients or, uh, you know, we talk about also um, superfoods. Mm -hmm. yes. And when we say superfoods, these are foods that contain the highest amount of amino acids, the highest amount of vitamins, the highest amount of minerals mm -hmm. without the bulk. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're getting a lot of these foods that are full of um, bulk, yeah. but they don't really have a lot of nutrients in the system. Yep. So the ideal when we say weight loss is mm -hmm. to get the maximum of our food without getting the mo getting a big plate of food, right? Exactly. That so our body doesn't have to process all of that. So the mm -hmm. first thing that we're going to make is super punch up smoothie, and we're going to use a couple of superfoods here. We have coconut water for our base. Now, everybody in Belize has a coconut tree. Yeah, yes. This is very affordable. You know, it's not like in the States, you pay $5 for one of these coconuts in the oh. States. Five US dollars, wow. okay? So Export we're gonna coconuts. go ahead. So yeah, Belizeans no. have to, they have to start making use of this, you know? Also, coconut water is, has the same makeup as blood plasma. It was actually used as, as blood transfusion, uh, well, in replacement of blood in the Pacific War. So we're going to just pour this in here. So it's, a, it's an excellent blood purifier. Uh, it also helps to build the blood as well. Does the coconut have to be cold or it doesn't No, matter? in fact, it's better to have your, I know we're making a, a cold smoothie, but it is better to have your coconut water at room temperature okay. uh, than to actually have it. Uh, and see that? It has two cups. One of these has two cups, and this is one serving. I would always recommend two cups mm -hmm. for a morning serving. Now, you can either go ahead for your breakfast and drink this, or you can have the smoothie. Um, the other thing that Ed was speaking about, he was speaking about the importance of liquids, you mm -hmm. know, the importance of juicing. And you do get all of those nutrients and minerals packed in a small cup, but also you get the electrifying, the cleansing element, which is really important. Mm -hmm. This is what most of us are missing. This is another reason why people are getting sick because they don't have that liquid element in their consumption to wash out all of the toxins that come into our system. Mm -hmm. You know, most of us eat heavy food mm -hmm. without having the actual liquid to balance that. So we also have here some uh, everybody is familiar with this, some mm -hmm. sea moss, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is mm -hmm. just some local sea moss, and most people here, they go ahead and they boil it, yeah. but you don't have to boil it. When you cook your, for the most part, there are some exceptions, but for the most part, when you cook your, your, your foods, especially plant foods, they lose a lot of their nutrients, Absolutely. minerals, and vitamins, so Absolutely. it's unnecessary. So how do we process this without cooking it? All right, we soak it in some water, and what does it do? It it's rehydrates, fine. and mm -hmm. it puffs up, and it gets soft. And mm -hmm. what this means, it's very important to soak this, because if you don't soak it, you will eat it, and it will soak up the moisture inside exactly. your body, exactly. right? Yeah, so, and this is what happens with a lot of the foods that we eat. The, it, they soak up the moisture, so it makes it difficult for them to move through the digestive tract, which is the reason why a lot of us get constipated. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add a third cup of sea moss in there, and then we have some dates here. Now, these dates we purchased locally at Sakafi, and you know they're twelve dollars for the pack. And even though they're twelve dollars for the pack, you only need about three or four of them uh, in one serving, and one pack will last you all week. And this is an excellent source of sugar. 
So if you want it a little sweet, it's okay. Have your sweet. <laughs> don't, don't, you know, the body lives off of sugar. We are sugar babies in a sense. So we're going to add four dates and we want to make sure we want to pit these dates because they have a, a nice pit. And these come from the Mediterranean. They're actually sun dried. Um, all right. So now we also have here another part of our superfood component and that's some coconut. So we're just going to add a, a fourth cup of fresh coconut. And this is all ingredients that you guys are familiar with. This is nothing Absolutely. new. This is nothing strange, you know. Yeah. And then we have some banana. We went ahead and we froze our banana. We have a couple bananas there. Your banana. And we are also going to add some cinnamon. Just a teaspoon. Not even a teaspoon. A quarter of a teaspoon. All right. And we're going to give this a blend. try it. I've had my breakfast this morning. So I'm going to pour this here. Now, if you wanted a variation of this, if you wanted a variation of this, then we can just add some chocolate. Okay. Who loves chocolate? Everybody loves Love chocolate. chocolate. So now we want a different kind of smoothie. We have a, a coconut banana smoothie here. Now we're going to add some chocolate and it's going to be a chocolate banana smoothie. And the chocolate, what we want to be sure of, now usually I use only raw chocolate, but that's very difficult to find yeah. in Belize to actually taste and it's processed differently. So you can go ahead and use the Hershey's chocolate, but just make sure that it's unsweetened and it does not have any milk product in it. Simple. It's just straight cocoa yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to add about, uh, I would say a teaspoon. We're going to give that a mix. And I have two cups here, two additional cups here. We're going to pour that into there. So that's all set for when we finish here. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to just use the same, the same, um, the same container. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to actually, I'm going to rinse it out with a little bit of water here. Just so we don't get the chocolate taste. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can figure out where <laughs> we're going to put that. I think we'll try to put it in the coconut. How about that? <laughs> you know, we got to always make do with what we have, right? right? It's not about what did I read somewhere. It's not about what you have, but what you do with what you have. There you go. All right. So now that we got the most of the chocolate flavor out of there, we're going to make a natural sm fruit smoothie now. So this is for all the people who don't really care for chocolate and they don't really want, they want something fruity. We're going to use a natural base fruit juice. This is pineapple cranberry. Okay. Fresh. Use about a cup of that. We're going to use our same coconut for the superfoods. Add that in there. We're going to add some banana in there. Now you don't need to add any dates or any sweetener to this because the banana. juice is very yeah. sweet. Pineapple is very sweet. Yeah. People are always surprised when they come to our cafe at the Bliss and they go, you don't use, this is very sweet. You don't have any sugar in this. No sugar. You don't need any sugar because mm -hmm. nature provides that sugar for you. And with fruit sugars, you're dealing with glucose. You're not dealing with fructose. You're not dealing with sucrose, which are more yeah. complicated sugars. You're dealing with simple sugar that the body can efficiently use as an energy source. Exactly. Okay. We're going to use some strawberries here. It's about a cup of, a third cup of um, fresh frozen strawberries. And we're going to use a third cup of blueberries. And all of our berries have antioxidants. So, you know, they help to 
get rid of toxins in the system and they also help to bring oxygen in the system as well. So we have about a third cup and just move all of this over to the side here. We're going to give this a... three cups here so we'll pour out three cups this is for everyone here to have and you see how nice and thick it is too mm. right the banana makes it that way My mouth is watering <laughs> <laughs> looks like ice cream yeah yeah and this is a good replacement for ice cream yeah. you know a lot of Belizeans go to the ice cream shop when yeah. you can do it right at home in your blender so that's it you know we have all of our smoothies here we have a smoothie that has pineapple which has some of the most um, powerful digestive enzymes in it and we also have it has berries for the antioxidants it has coconut for your protein because mm -hmm. you don't necessarily need to have un unplant based protein mm -hmm. and you also have some um, uh, you can also put seaweed in here too if you choose to. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about the seaweed just for a moment. The seaweed is full of, um, uh, sea vegetables are full of nutrients and minerals that your body need more than the land vegetables, okay? Because mm -hmm. remember, uh, one of the train of thoughts is that we evolved from the sea. Mm -hmm. So all of our, you know, all of our system and makeup has the same identical makeup as the sea. So these plants actually are really important. This is what's missing out of a lot of our consumptions. Iron, okay, it has a lot of iron, has a lot of calcium, mm -hmm. and sea moss actually helps to relieve inflammation in the digestive tract. So it brings down inflammation. You drink seaweed every day naturally without boiling it, mm -hmm. you will find a difference. So you have your coconut here, your coconut water, your banana, which has the potassium and the calcium and all of those nutrients. And then you also have the chocolate for the chocolate lovers that have iron. So there you go. I hope that you know gives you everything that you need for the morning. I want to ask a question. Yes. Is there, is, is a smoothie, because when you hear about people talking about smoothies and drinking a smoothie, it's mostly in the morning. Yes. It has to be in the morning or can you drink a smoothie at night instead of having supper or, you know? Well, you know, you're, what you're hitting on is you're hitting on having, liquid, having a liquid replacement for a meal. You can make all kind of smoothies, you know, mm -hmm. you can make a carrot, um, pineapple, mm -hmm. uh, kale smoothie. You can make a vegetable smoothie. Mm -hmm. You can have your smoothie anytime. It just depends on what your train of, of, um, of following nutrition is. For what we do at Back to Live, we tend to have our liquids in the a.m. So we really are about having juice in the morning and having fruit in the morning because this electrifies the system and also mm -hmm. cleanses out the system. Now, when it comes to having your smoothie, a smoothie is a great picker upper for midday yes. around, I would say, 11 to 1. This because this is when your body really needs Dream. a lot of protein more than anything mm -hmm. to recuperate. And it's also flush out, but you want to make sure you get your liquids in the morning. A lot of people say, okay, I'm trying to lose weight. Let me put everything in this smoothie in the morning. I put my almonds, I put my everything, I put my protein, and then I go. But what they find is your body still hasn't done the cleansing that it needs to do in the morning, in the a.m., and this is where the juices and the mm -hmm. electric foods come in. And then mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the early, in the late morning to afternoon, then you start having your builders, which you should use your smoothie as your builder because at, as ed says these machines do what your digestive system is going to do and it's best to have less work on your digestive system as Absolutely. possible mm -hmm. and this is what these foods do mm -hmm. you know it's already pre-masticated mm -hmm. so it your body absorbs it quicker mm -hmm. so when you talk about recuperating after a morning workout when you talk about recuperating after having long meetings in the morning when you talk about recuperating you really want to get those vitamins, minerals, and nutrients in a liquid form like a smoothie, and it's more efficient for the body to use. Absolutely. Another question. Uh, juices and smoothies. Yes. 
difference. Is there big difference? Yeah. Which it's is 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 there a pre there should there be a preference for smoothies over juices or should I replace the more juice that I drink with smoothies? What's what's Well, that? the thing is is that um, it, there is a big difference, okay? Mm -hmm. Your blender will uh, crunch up stuff, masticate things, mm -hmm. bring them together, you know, basically chop it down into mm -hmm. very fine, fine mm -hmm. amount to make it a liquid. It still has fiber though, Absolutely. okay? So this is the big difference between juice mm -hmm. and between smoothies. Yes. Juice is an extractor. Juice takes the nutrients out, oh. mm -hmm. takes the water out, and leaves the fiber mm -hmm. out, okay? So in the AM, a lot of times, you do need the juice because it has the water to electrify the system and cleanse the system, but mm -hmm. you still do need fiber. So this is where, because the fiber is gonna push, okay? The fiber's job Absolutely. is to push Crunch. out the waste mm -hmm. while the juice job is to electrify. Mm -hmm. So the big difference, you, you really wanna have a balance of both, I would say. Mm -hmm. You know, you really wanna have your juice in the AM and you wanna have a lot of it so that you can hydrate your cells, so that your cells can get oxygen and water. Mm -hmm. And then you wanna come in with your smoothies and you are your salads, are your, your, your mm -hmm. fruit, and you wanna put that fiber in so that the fiber can now push out the waste that's been released by the liquid component. So I don't know if that answers mm -hmm. your question. Yeah, it, it does. I had a, uh, oh, sorry, I just have another question. I'd like to add a little bit to that, um, uh -huh. since, you know, you, you know, we, we recommend very strongly about drinking the water in That's the morning, what I was gonna first ask. thing in the morning. Uh -huh. But what I want to say is a lot of people out there are buying Gatorade. That's, that's what really what I was right? going to ask. But look at this. We've got coconut water, six electrolytes. Gatorade has two. Yes. Right? Yes. Six electrolytes. This, this helps our body. We, we, we are able to... Um, to, to, to eliminate free radicals more, we, we, you know, we, 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 we're much healthier. We, we need to drink more coconut water if we want to drink something other than water, right? And, and the juices, I don't know, you know, you, you, that's like climbing up a slippery pole, especially the, the ones that you buy. You don't want to, they're, they're full of, of sugar. processed sugar. That's basically it, right? And, and something like, I mean, 10% juice, I mean, 10% juice? We live in a tropical country where there are fresh food. Why are we going to drink 10% juice? We want to drink 100%. I, I, I like to drink my juice out the fruit. How about that? <laughs> I drink it out the orange. I go to the fruit shop and I say, hey, man, I want to drink some orange juice. Feel me and cut me some orange. And I just drink it right out of that. It, it, it's so good, right? Mother Nature knows best. And it gives you everything in the right concentration, everything perfect. Why take a chance? Why take a chance? You, you, man gets in between you and Mother Nature, all kinds of crazy stuff starts happening in your body. <laughs> I was going to ask, I, I was talking to a friend recently, and I was telling him, you know, he wasn't feeling well, and I said, lots of fluids, drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. detox, drink yes. a lot of water. And you're saying, well, I've been drinking Gatorade. I said, but water is natural yeah. than Gatorade. You said, but Gatorade has electrolytes. <laughs> Two. So, <laughs> Big deal. what's the, should it be, it, does the water still have more benefits than the Gatorade? Because a lot of people, of when it, especially like um, young people, they prefer to drink Gatorade because, you know, they, you see all these commercials, it gives you energy, right. it gives you this, it gives you that. While they're saying, well, water doesn't give you, it's just water. That's marketing hype. And let me tell you what else you get from Gatorade that's not good. You get all that coloring and you get, uh, there's just a lot of suspect additives in there because, you know, these things are processed. You know, in these days, you can't trust nobody. If, if you want to play it safe, mm -hmm. you got to make your direct connection with Mother Nature. No in between. No in between. So, Mother Nature doesn't give you orange juice from concentrate. It gives you orange. Man gives you orange juice from concentrate, apple juice from concentrate. These things are so acidic, and basically they make our body acidic. Now, the thing we need to understand, I was talking to a friend in the streets yesterday, and he said, next time you go on the show, talk about um, alkalinization, alkaline and mm -hmm. acid body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An acid body is a haven for diseases, for bacteria, for, for it's a haven. You go to the hospital, and you take the pH of everybody in there. 
and you will find they're all acidic, right? Now, an alkaline body now resists diseases, bacteria. They cannot survive there. So if you want to raise your resistance, if you want to, you know, I don't get sick, period. No flu, no nothing, right? And I love be that because then I don't have to go give my money to the doctor, <laughs> right? Why? Because I keep my resistance high. Not only do I like exercising, working out, and eat healthy and all that, but I also want to keep my resistance high. I don't want everything that goes around. I don't want to catch everything that mm -hmm. goes around. That doesn't make no sense to me. I want to. So, so keep your resistance high by keeping your body alkaline. Right? And all these smoothies, these, these, these green leafy vegetables, they have some smoothies there with, with the, the green smoothies, evergreen, that are really what the superfoods. And when you, when you consume these foods, you can feel the energy injected into your system. It's like you just want to go. Right? I like to get them before I go to work out. Because then when I go to work out, them guys say, what are you on? Mm -hmm. So what am I on? Something good. I tell you what, it's not no steroids if you're thinking <laughs> that. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's natural empowerment, right? Really good. All right. So we're going to taste the... <laughs> I can't wait. All right. You want to... All right. Yeah. You're going to try mm. which one? The seaweed? Oh, sure. Which this one, one is like, like ice cold. cream. You don't try that one, mm. so I guess we should try it. Oh. You tried it already? No. Okay. This is nice. Really good. I think we mm. That's the coconut. That one is the coconut. Uh, okay, this, this one, one is the... That's the one? chocolate coconut. This one. Okay. Oh, that one. That's the coconut. This is the chocolate? That's yeah. the chocolate. This is the coconut. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay. It's nice. It's very delicious. Yeah. And it's so healthy. So it's nice and healthy. healthy. This is the thing. We got both kill two birds with one stone. Usually the stuff that are nice are not so healthy, right? Mm -hmm. That's a compromise. But when you can find this stuff that's nice and good for you, I mean, you can't go you wrong. Can't you can't. Hey, we're supposed to enjoy food. Yeah. And, and seaweed, talking about seaweed, mm -hmm. growing up, I used to see my dad drink, my dad used to drink a lot of seaweed. Um, but I was always under the impression because he had a, um, he was a fisherman. Mm -hmm. And so he did a lot of heavy lifting, and I was always told that seaweed is good for your back. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really drink seaweed because I figured I don't need, I don't need, I don't have bad back. <laughs> <laughs> and I was always, I used to see growing up, I used to watch my mom make it, but I used to stay away from it because it never looked so nice to me, right? But yeah. it's it's really good. Yeah. I mean, um, watching it being used today, when the seaweed guys to sell the seaweed and stuff, I, I'm not a seaweed drinker. I've always stayed away from it. Actually, this is the first time I'm really tasting it in something. Um, and it's really, really good. She mentioned a very important point. It's really important to hydrate. Very important. Much, much, much more important than we can say to hydrate. You want to start the day with fully hydrated cells, right? And as you go through the day, you're going to be losing liquid you know mm -hmm. even when you breathe if you breathe on a mirror you yeah. see the moisture in yeah. it when you urinate you sweat so it, so you got to keep putting it back but one of the things she mentioned is that um with the seaweed when you soak it uh, instead of cooking it you soak it mm -hmm. right and um it it absorbs moisture and then it becomes soft and then when you put it in the blender but besides that uh, I take something like our oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Most people want to cook their oatmeal, right? What I do is I chop up fruits, right? Like some papaya, banana, and I just sprinkle the oatmeal on it, mix it up a little bit. I sprinkle some more, mix it up, and then I put it in the refrigerator and I just leave it there, right? The oatmeal absorbs the moisture from the fruit, becomes impregnated with the moisture and very soft. And it's just like it's been cooked, and only it hasn't been. Yeah. And, and, you know, the nutrients are all there. Nothing has been taken away, because whenever we process foods, whether a, a microwave is a killer, okay? It nukes nutrients, right? Most people like that quick fix. Mm -hmm. Just drop it in the microwave, two, three minutes, bam, it's ready to go. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got some dead food there. <laughs> right? We have 300 million living cells in our body. 
why would we want to feed them dead food? That's true. Right? That's, that's tr we don't really think about it like that, you know. But it's true. Yeah. It is true. Look at the c convenience and that's it. Mom? Yeah. We're always on the... B and, and the good thing with this, too, is that you did it in a quick time. Yeah. Because we're always in a hurry. We're yeah. always in a hurry. We always feel like we, we need to time. run left time. Yeah. And you see, she has it prepared, too. We can, you can prepare it so, so it's really quick. For, it's, it's good for, for the busy people. Most of the people that come to my boot camps, they are busy people. Mm. Busy professionals. And they're always asking, well, you know, yeah, that's nice, said and done. But, you know, you, you know, you're preparing food and doing it yourself and all that. But we don't have time for that. Well, you see, okay, you yeah. know, if you can prepare them and have them ready, you know, and all you got to do is just our stop by our cafe. If you're really, really busy, come yes, by back to my cafe, <laughs> and we'll make the f we'll make it for you. You know. But, um, but then um, he talked about the time. I know another factor has to do with cost, yeah. because in terms of some of the stuff that you're yeah. using, you are going to pay more. Mm -hmm. You know, but your body is worth it. You know, oh, yes. we go and we get tops, we get earrings, we get purses, mm -hmm. we get cars, we get, you know, we go mm -hmm. on vacations, we get alcohol, we spend money, everybody spends money. So it's about how you want to use what you have. Again, mm -hmm. what you have is not so much what you have, but how you I'll use what, what you have. have. And yeah. everybody can afford this because what you'll find is that you'll actually eat less of the other stuff. You know, mm -hmm. so it balances it out. And in the long run, you won't see a doctor for diabetes. You won't see a doctor for hypertension. You, you won't have knee and arthritis problems, you mm -hmm. know. So these are things we have to start to reevaluate our, our priorities, uh, priorities yeah. when it comes to how we, I'm the most expensive thing I have, you know. So I have to put the most expensive things in my body mm -hmm. so that I can run correctly, you know? Because if I don't do that, I won't have a car. I won't have any money. I won't mm -hmm. have a bank account. I won't have right. anything. So, you know, I... I, I wanted to ask, we're, we, we were talking just now, you were mentioning about um, the healthy foods will help you to not develop all of these sicknesses. Yeah. Diabetes is something that is very prevalent yes. in Belize. Mm -hmm. All of us have somebody that is related that has diabetes we carry the genes um because it's been said that what? it's it's you know <laughs> can can that i know with diabetics they have to be watching what they eat they have to be watching what they drink right smoothies can diabetes drink these smoothies and mm -hmm. i was asking because i noticed you use cinnamon and a lot of times we hear that cinnamon is good for people with with diabetes okay so we have to understand why first first we have to understand and i'll be very brief about what diabetes is because I think there's a misconception that yes. you just develop diabetes yes. or you're born with this predisposition yeah, of genetic. getting diabetes. And diabetes doesn't fall from the sky and hit someone over the head. Yeah. You know, diabetes is a direct is a direct result of what we put into our bodies because Absolutely. diabetes is means that it's a disease of the pancreas. Okay. Mm -hmm. The pancreas is not functioning properly. The pancreas is responsible for getting all of the nutrients, all of the vitamins and getting it ready for digestion. And it's also responsible for producing hormones, insulin and glucagon. And these are the, these are the hormones that control or regulate blood sugar in the body. So the reason why cinnamon helps, why it's good for diabetics is because it helps to uh, lower blood pressure. It's an herb that helps to uh, cleanse the blood okay and it also is easy on the digestive system so when we really talk about diabetes first and foremost we have to heal the pancreas give okay. it time to rest uh, 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 diabetes is a degenerative disease meaning that usually as you get older you develop it and why because the pancreas stops working and it stops breaking down these heavy foods that people are eating mm -hmm. and it says no more mm -hmm. and then it doesn't produce these these mm -hmm. these these hormones so you know once we say okay let's take a 30 minute uh, i mean a 30 day detox let's detox for 30 days let's give that pancreas some time to relax a little bit, mm -hmm. the body will start to heal itself. And mm -hmm. within 30 days, if you eat accordingly and you see a professional like Ed or I, mm -hmm. and 
we'll go ahead and eradicate that diabetes in 30 days because Absolutely. now the pancreas has time to heal. When it comes to the sugars, okay, because this is an issue a lot of people have is I can't have any sugar because I'm diabetic. I can't eat any fruit because I'm diabetic mm -hmm. because this is what the doctor says. But the doctor doesn't say give up the starch, give up the, the, the flour, give up the, the <coughs> processed grains mm -hmm. that make it very difficult for the body to break down into sugar. I, earlier I said we are sugar babies. The body lives off of sugar. The body doesn't use protein for energy. The body doesn't use fat for energy. The body uses protein to build and repair. The body uses fat to have for the cells to communicate and for things to be lubricated and things to move smoothly. But the body uses majority of sugar for mm -hmm. energy. Yeah, the problem is, is people are eating sugars that are very, very complicated sugars. You know, the, the soft drinks, the flowers, everything has to come down to a sugar in the body. So mm -hmm. you must eat fruits. This sugar here for diabetics is the best sugar because the body uses it readily. What happens with people with diabetes is, is that they, they may not eat fruit and they may not eat candy bars, but they still eat flour and the body has to go and try to burn that and make it into a simple sugar which it cannot do so it sits in the blood and the body can't absorb it and it circulates and that's what causes the sugar problem is these sugars that are not breaking down mm -hmm. so it's not the fruit eat yeah. more fruit you know Absolutely. if they eat more fruit they won't have the diabetic issue if you have more smoothies you won't have it but don't go and get the sugar the, the smoothies that have the syrup that mm -hmm. have the are people that use concentrated juices mm -hmm. use fresh juice use sugars that are available for the body you need mm -hmm. sugar i live yeah. off of sugar i'm a sugar baby i love mm -hmm. sugar <laughs> nobody's ever going to take sugar away from me you know so, remember what we say at boot camp right public what's put remember what's public enemy number one um refined sugar, sugar. Mm -hmm. it's known as the silent killer yeah public enemy number one um, this is the thing, you know, this causes our pancreas to, open. whenever we consume any of these products, the soft drinks that she mentioned, any of the derivatives of this refined sugar, we, the, the, we, the, the, um, insulin spikes and the pancreas just go, things just go crazy and the body can't keep that up. Right. And this is what kills the pancreas. That's why the pancreas eventually retires and says no more like she said i can't handle this no more and then we're diabetic all yeah. of a sudden you're, you go to the doctor and you're diabetic right but it's a degenerative condition like she said it's not a disease it's a degenerative condition and um what also helps is the free radicals right again you got arthritis, which is also another degenerative condition. We have these free radicals. We're exposed to all this, you know, like exhaust fumes from vehicles, secondhand cigarette smoke, and this stuff gets in our body and it attacks these, these vital um, glands, you know, and it also causes the degeneration of mm. these. So what we want to do is detox often, right? In addition to um, consuming foods that are direct from nature, that are unprocessed, that are, I'd say, virgin, that are wholesome, and the body will just fix itself, right? You know, we, we don't, we don't, doctors don't fix the body, they don't heal, they don't do nothing. Uh, I, I was speaking to a doctor yesterday that I, that I trained. And she was saying to me, she says, well, you know, basically what we do is we kind of stimulate the body to heal itself because the body does the, the, the yeah. grunt work. The body does all the grunt work. It, it's got the wherewithal mm -hmm. to do it. Oh, of course, we've got to give it some of that wherewithal. What it needs, right? Right. Absolutely. King helps. And uh, healthy drinks this morning uh, with Chef India and of course Ed Williams. And Chef India is from the Back to Live Cafe. Uh, before the break, uh, we had asked, is it only smoothies? No, we actually specialize in vegan living foods. So we make smoothies, juices, we make food as well. We make pizza, 
we make uh, lasagna, we make mm -hmm. uh, spaghetti, but mm -hmm. we don't use any animal products. So there's no meat, mm -hmm. there's no cheese, there's no dairy. We make our cheeses from cashew. We make yogurt from coconut. We mm -hmm. make um, sandwiches that taste like tuna from carrots and seaweed. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. make, uh, we make, we just mm -hmm. actually had a, a holiday feast and we made a pecan nut loaf. We made um, something that's like mashed potatoes with cauliflower. We made uh, a gravy from coconut mm -hmm. and mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, we make burgers. People love our burgers. We make mm -hmm. a Hawaiian barbecue burger, but we don't use any bread. It's really interesting. It's different. We mm -hmm. soak our seeds and our nuts. We sprout our grains. We process our stuff. We use dehydrators. So what may take you, you know, um, uh, hour to make we with bread our bread takes eight hours in a dehydrator so when people come in this is what people are paying for they're paying for uh, getting these foods in the highest nutrient content without damaging the nutrients but they still have the taste it tastes mm -hmm. delicious people yes. can't believe it yes. they're always they're always like okay so uh, one thing I have to say what the difference is because we're vegan mm -hmm. so vegan means we don't use any animal product at all mm -hmm. okay uh, and we don't use anything that has animal product in it so we're very educated that like yellow dye contains pork so we don't use anything that has yellow dye you know everything is very is natural that we everything is natural and everything is made with these hands right here mm -hmm. you know so um, and then we also that's our cafe but we also have a detox program I am a detox specialist. I, I mentioned earlier, I'm a special nutritionist. So I'm trained to know about the body, what foods are, are good for the body, but really my specialty is living foods. Mm -hmm. So my specialty is working with nutrition, with mm -hmm. living foods, and also I am a detox specialist. So that means that people come to me and they get on detox programs mm -hmm. and I facilitate the detox for them. We make the juice for them. We put them on the food program. And people come, they lose about a pound a day you know, but this is secondary mm -hmm. to why most people come to us. I mean, most people say, I want to lose weight, but most people say, I don't feel like myself. I don't mm -hmm. feel good. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I, I have headaches. Mm -hmm. I have migraines. I have arthritis, you know, and I, this is not what I'm used to. And this is very new for Belizeans, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. because yes. the thing is, is now you have, mm -hmm. like Ed said, you have more of the processed foods. The chicken is not the same chicken. Mm -hmm. The seasonings are not the same seasonings, you know, and Belizeans are not used to that. So now they're getting sick and they're wondering why, <laughs> but they haven't changed what they're eating because that's how they always ate and they mm -hmm. never got sick before, mm -hmm. but now they're getting sick, you know? So we've worked with the prime minister's wife. We've worked with other professionals, um, other people who have had issues with cancer, other people who need detox, you know, all dis-ease, dis-ease. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. at a state of dis-ease, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. is a result of the body having an over uh, abundance of toxins, which yeah. we call toxemia. Mm -hmm. And this is where, you know, cleansing and detoxing comes in. This is where having the proper foods come in, but also having a maintenance program. So we offer those services. We offer meal plans for people who may not be able to, to afford our facilitated services, mm -hmm. you know, because to juice a gallon and a half or someone, that's a lot of time and that's a lot of effort. Yeah. And it takes a lot yeah. of resources in Belize because fruits tend to be more expensive yes. mm -hmm. than the actual food yeah. that people are eating. People could go get a plate of chicken for $5, yeah. but you go buy one pineapple, it costs yeah. you 4 or $5 for mm -hmm. one pineapple. And they say, well, I can't get full off of having one pineapple, you know? So um, the people who cannot necessarily afford the facilitated services, we offer meal plans for them so that they can make, we give them the, the um, uh, the recipes and also we have an outline of the schedule for them to follow that's on a PDF format and we mm -hmm. do consultations too mm -hmm. so if somebody has some issues that they just want to know how how do I go forward you know just tell me what to do you know I personally look at their history we give them a health report card to fill out I review it and then I sit down with them and I say okay this is what you need to do X Y and Z and to date um, we have had all all success okay. all success everybody mm -hmm. who's been on our program has been successful and the best part about our detox programs and our plans is that it's not like Jenny Craig where you take a mm -hmm. pill 
and you are you take and you're like good I lost the weight I feel good mm-hmm. uh, and then like six months you're like yeah. I'm fat again I <laughs> yeah. don't feel, you know like you I don't up. feel well yeah. again with our programs you actually start to overstand how to eat correctly mm-hmm. so you never return back to that you know Absolutely. people come to us they may gain a couple pounds back but they know what to do they know how to get mm-hmm. back to where they need to be they know okay this is a matter of me doing one two three four five so we train you because i'm only one person and ed is only one person Mm -hmm. our job is to teach you Mm -hmm. how to do what you need to do to maintain your health that's what change your change your lifestyle basically you exactly to meet the resolution a long time a long time investment Yeah. yeah so making that resolution to lose the weight is not as hard as people make it out to be the thing is is that you know it seems hard when we look in the mirror and we see things that are that we're not used to seeing and we don't like seeing and we see you know that we're not in our healthiest condition and Mm -hmm. and along with the stress of everyday life along with the stress of financial everything that we have to deal with sometimes it could feel like weight is like oh the the hardest thing to get rid of Mm -hmm. but when we start to understand how the body works and how the body functions Mm -hmm. and also um, when we start to understand that weight is just waste Mm -hmm. it's just waste and that you can get rid of waste very easy then it's you know then it's it's a joy and that I think that is also the number one compliment that we get of our programs is that Ah, I never knew this was going to be this easy and this mm-hmm. enjoyable and all they have to do is eat and drink and so many people don't even exercise you mm-hmm. know they don't have you don't have to go kill yourself mm-hmm. in a gym if you eat correctly exactly. you do want to stay active you of do want to yeah. you know even yeah. I am like I need to run I need to work out I need to feel good I need to feel strong because you got it that is an important component mm-hmm. I mean way back before we had cars we used to walk everywhere yeah. before exactly. that yeah. you, you know thousands of years ago we used to be running around in the bush mm-hmm. yeah. so you you know, we do need to remain active, but um, the weight is just waste. It's really very simple, you know, and once you understand that, you don't have to worry. I, I used to worry about my weight, you know, my journey into living foods. I was very sick. I'm 32 right now. When I was in my early 20s, I developed a cyst the size of a grapefruit on my left ovary. I had to go into surgery. I gained a lot of weight because of the medication that I was on. I was up to 176 pounds. And now I'm 117, so you can imagine yeah. what I looked and felt like mm-hmm. at that, at that, okay? And now I, I, I don't even think about it. I just, you know, if anything, I need to gain some weight. <laughs> 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 yes. But it, it does tell us um, at, at boot camp that it's 30% workout you have and to work 70% out. what yeah. you eat. You exactly. have to work out. But more than anything, also, I would say it's, it's really a whole lifestyle thing, you know? Yeah. You have to work out. I mean, working out helps to relieve stress, mm-hmm. helps to, you know, keep the body strong. For raw foodists like myself, when I work out, I actually get, like, really buff. Mm -hmm. And I don't look skinny, you know, I don't look MAGA, you know, because you have to activate the muscles in order for for your body to even heal properly. Um, But you have to look at what you eat and not so much like, oh, well, they I read, you know, and I saw in Dr. Oz or I read in Shape magazine that, you know, you're not supposed you're supposed to have oatmeal in the morning so I'm gonna just eat uh, oatmeal but then they don't cut out the you know fry jack and the fry beans mm-hmm. and the ham and all of that other stuff you know they say Which well if I we have my oatmeal. we love our fried jack yeah. and our fried beans and yeah. our you know all of those things but it's time for us to one start questioning where those eating habits came from mm-hmm. because they are not you know our natural way of eating where did mm-hmm. this come from a lot of this comes from when you know people didn't have a choice when people were slaves that they process their foods a certain way Mm -hmm. to make it edible you know and so um we have to are that they go and they do long work even Mm -hmm. even after slavery they did a lot of uh uh, um, work in agriculture so they were swinging machetes i mean a person who is swinging a machete all day or in the bush all day they can maybe Mm -hmm. and in the sun all day they can maybe handle Mm -hmm. eating some fry jack in the Mm -hmm. morning because their body is going to burn it but most of us don't live that lifestyle anymore so we're eating fry jack and we're eating all these things and then we go and we sit down you know (laughs) and it just sits right there it doesn't Mm -hmm. move the body has to heat up to a certain temperature to burn Mm -hmm. so this is where eating foods that you don't have to heat up so much 
<laughs> can you have like the best of both worlds where you can have a little bit of effort but just like maybe cut down and still do work out and yeah but the ideal is because i know we're not here don't give up but the thing <laughs> is, is i'm not here and we're not here ed and i are not here to say you can't eat like this and you can't have those things um, the most important things are one detox your system on a regular basis. Exactly. You know, if yes. you want to eat fried jack, then mm -hmm. you need to not eat one day a week. You know, mm -hmm. like one day, take a break from eating, mm -hmm. period, and let the system flush out. Yeah. If not, you're just going to keep putting that in. But mm -hmm. I think more than anything, we really have to redefine what eating is and find ways that we can still have the taste of fried jack without mm -hmm. the. The, the judgment that comes with it, you know what I mean? You can have a little bit of here and there. That's not going to yeah. hurt you, but it's the every day, all day, every mm -hmm. day. And the other aspect really quick is that when you eat those things, they feed your cells and your cells start to want that again and again yes. and again. Yes. So it's you kind of a catch-22. It's not so much I'm here, Ed is here to tell you you can't mm -hmm. have it, but you have to understand the science behind it. And when you understand, and if you really want to give it up, then you know then you have to start making steps to recalibrate your thinking mm -hmm. about it because your food thinking comes from here first mm -hmm. you see it you smell it then you want it and then you mm -hmm. eat it yes. you know and i think a lot of people mm -hmm. eat um associate food with like for example we'll sit down and watch a movie and we'll eat yes um okay. the comfort foods comfort. you always hear about soul food Mm. You hear about, you know. You can have soul foods. Come to back to life. We'll give you some soul food. <laughs> and, but we just won't, you know, put no judgment in it. You know, that's the only thing. I think the biggest component that's missing is the education factor. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't know how to eat what they love to eat without having all of the fats and the this and the well, that. They traditionally that. had all the exactly. growing up. This exactly. is what they used to. You can, yeah. you can also do healthier versions of the same fried jack, for example that um, will kind of wean you off that white flour. Yes. Um, you can, you can, I mean, you can make, you use the wheat, a combination of wheat and white, and um, instead of frying it, you can bake it. No, 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 right? fry jack again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by bake name, jack. but it tastes quite, what, what, what about, what about, something like that? what about potato fries? What's the, Bake. You ever taste the difference between the actual fried and the baked? Yeah. There's not much difference, right? There's not much difference. Yeah. When I, you know, you, you know, fried okay, jack if somebody... Fried and a fried jack. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but if somebody put fried jacks in front of you uh -huh. and you don't know what the process is, two, I'll give you two. Maybe yeah, you need the, to do that one of these days I and know. bring it The baked jack and the fried I want to know. <laughs> See, uh, I put it to the but, test but and see you know, which you like. But No, but because I'm listening to Shafi there at an you will know, lasagna but well, there I is make a lasagna. Yeah, that, that's, that's yeah. You will know, but then there is there is the, the difference is not that significant. It, it's a good trade off. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You will know the difference, but All it's right. a good trade off. So Another thing is know. bread fruit, for example, bread fruit. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is something that gets as close to the, the, the potato or you know even bread. I mean, why did they call it breadfruit in the first place? Anyway? <laughs> but it's natural. You know, it's, well, I, 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 I tasted some breadfruit baked the other day. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It is delicious. Mm -hmm. It is. But it then is. It's, it's also direct from Mother Nature. There's yeah. no... Nothing in between. In between. <laughs> yeah. do, you find that, um, do you find that more people are being more health conscious, more people coming to your place, yeah. um, more people coming to the boot camp. Yeah. People are seeking. Or it's just people around January when, <laughs> no. you know, make all o these overall, resolutions. Overall, people are suffering yeah. and they're looking for answers. And yeah. uh, this is the, the age of health and fitness and it's all around. Everybody is trying to do something. You get up in the morning early and you see people out there mm. on the road just trying to do something. People just need the correct information. A lot of there's a lot of information out there. A lot of it is misinformation. So what you want to do but is to have again, somebody sort again, this for you. How do you determine what is misinformation? There you go. I was just about to say. You got to seek difficult. the professionals that people sort it out for you. Help the professionals will help you to sort that problem. And but if you're not remember, having the, if you're not having the results that you that you should be having then you start to question you know mm. your body 
is is the biggest determiner of mm -hmm. if the information is correct or exactly. not. Exactly. You know, results. Like if it's exactly the name if, of the if game. You, <laughs> if you if someone says if Ed tells you, hey, go do a, a hundred a hundred meter dash, mm -hmm. you know, for a hundred days, and you'll lose a pound a day, and at the end of it, you don't lose no pound a day. You're gonna be well, like, yeah, this is not working. Doesn't you work. Know? So, but I might run it and I might lose two pounds. Yeah. So I then, mean, for me, that a, information this, this is correct. Works there, there is that's the point of, I'm making. Well, it's there, there is, and it's it's all relative, you know. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of misinformation out of, out there, but the key is just to continue to do your research, continue mm -hmm. to read, mm -hmm. and also seek professionals like Ed and I, mm -hmm. who can give you point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the health and fitness craze is just now hitting beliefs. It's just yeah. now hitting beliefs, but it's been all over the world. You know, raw food is really big in the States, well, really big in Europe, mm -hmm. and we're just now coming here, and people are just now getting the concept of what vegan food is and what mm -hmm. all of these differences, you know? But it's just, I, I did want to mention that it is important to transition. You know, yeah. don't just jump and hop and think you're gonna just, okay, I, but be, open that's mm -hmm. the first thing a lot of Belizeans are like mm, I don't know about that like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that look mm, I'm good you mm -hmm. know they don't even want to try it mm -hmm. you know but then you do have those that are like what you got there you know I've had people come into the cafe and they see these kale chips that we make at the cafe mm -hmm. and they're like uh, that looks you know I had somebody say it looked really weird you know that's but the then thing I tried but then they day. said yeah. they said <laughs> they said I, can I try it and uh -huh. I let them try it. And they said, I want to order of them. I mm -hmm. like that. That tastes good. Yeah. You know, the thing about Belizeans, they love their food. Mm -hmm. And they love their food mm -hmm. that tastes good. Mm -hmm. So they're not really, it don't matter how healthy it is for them. If it doesn't taste good, they don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> it does not matter. So, you know, it does not matter. So it's important to, you know, take classes from, you know, back to life. We offer classes. We're actually going to have a workshop coming up at the end of January as well, where we're going to be showing you how to make cooked food vegan and also how to make some raw food as well vegan to make it taste good so mm -hmm. just be open just be open to educate yourself we are changing we're in a different phase in life a different phase in the universe so yes. everybody wants that everybody's yeah. looking for that you know you can have some fr some fry jack every now and then not me but <laughs> <laughs> you know if you want to have your fry jack that's fine nobody's going to stop you you know there are people who are enlightened who have fry jack you mm -hmm. know or something something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. but we just have to we have to start to find alternatives i think ed is, is saying mm -hmm. there are alternatives so be open yes. to the alternatives you know maybe people won't go ex as extreme and always eat raw food mm -hmm. um or always eat vegan but they'll find the middle ground for them where they're mm -hmm. happy and they're not sick anymore because mm -hmm. again toxemia is the over over toxins mm -hmm. in the body you know overkill yeah overkill yeah uh, quick question before we go to the break getting back to smoothies if i make a smoothie in the morning and i bring it to work you know you know how you know sometimes they say okay you could after a while a certain food it, it starts to spoil or it starts to does does that happen with a smoothie too or can i bring a smoothie from in the morning and eat it say i'm going to be here until six o'clock this evening take or it has to be i have to take it before midday well, the thing is, is no, you, you don't necessarily have to take it. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, it will lose some of its nutrients, but mm -hmm. it's still available for the body, you yes. know. There are a lot of people who are like, you know, stop juicing, carrying their juice with them because, you know, somebody on TV said you want to make sure to get all mm -hmm. your juices right there when you juice. Mm -hmm. So then they stop having the juices, but it would have been more benefit to take the juice with you and it lose some of its mm -hmm. nutrients. It still, retains, not ha exactly. it still retains a lot more than the other stuff that you, you know. would have used. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good, good trade-off, I would say. You know, it's a balancing thing. Nothing's mm -hmm. going to be 100%. Nothing's going to be perfect. But you want to find that balance. So, you know, it is good to, you don't really want to have your juices more than three days. Uh, you don't really want your smoothies more than a day, more so because the sugars change mm -hmm. and it turns into mm -hmm. fructose, and your body doesn't really use fructose.
Surface Solutions at Carl H. Menzies Company Limited. Marie Shop's Fine Foods. You've come a long way, lady. A true Belize and original for over 30 years. Winner of many prestigious awards, such as the Food and Beverage Food Award from the Anuga Food Show in Germany, the Fiery Food Show, and many others. From Belize to China and Japan, from Germany and the UK to the USA, you can choose with confidence your favorite Marie Shop's red and green hot habanero pepper sauces. How about our just juicy fruit juices? Marie Shop's jams, jellies, exotic tamarind based steak sauce. Belizean seasonal, green mango chutney, snacks, as well as our popular red and green pepper jellies. All mouth-watering, all delicious, all natural and free of sodium benzoic preservatives. And HACCP certified. Marie Sharp Fine Foods, proud products of Belize. I am General Moreno of the CBC Infantry. This is a high-priority information briefing. Each one of you is equipped with a little genius which offers up to 235 channels. Your mission, to infiltrate every home with the most incredible viewing experience this nation has ever seen. Now go out and transform every television into a genius. Move out. Music is an art form whose medium is sound and silence. I prefer sound. It moves me. And as I enter my regular routine, music is what gets me through my day. Yeah. My music pushes me. What pushes my music? Digicel 4G. Digicel, make life easy. We're talking food. Looking back and looking at, you know, talking about change and yeah. the reluctance uh, to change at times. And we mm -hmm. said, well, this is how we grow in terms yeah. of a big plate of rice and beans yeah. and mm -hmm. the rest of it. I mean, Creole bread and bun mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. fried jack yeah. and all of that. And so making that change sometimes uh, might be a bit difficult. Well, it helps to think about the fact that this universe is in a constant state of flux. Everything is always changing. And, um, you know, a simple thing that I always hear um, one of my mentors used to say, he 
if you continue to do what you've always done, you continue to get what you've always got. Are you right. happy with that? No, if you're yeah. happy, fine, keep it. Keep on. But if you want a change, if you if you want a change, you have to be the change or make the yeah. change. You you know you, you and, and um, believe that uh, as a as on a whole today we are we are not what we used to be. From, you know, you, you, you just fi we're piling on the pounds. We're you know diabetes, diabetics, people suffering, and why? It's basically because things have eroded. Walk around Belize and see how many smokers. Try to catch a good puff of fresh air without cigarette smoke or or exhaust fumes around Belize City. I mean, I am lying in my bed in the morning and I'm very sensitive to this and all of a sudden, Sorry. cigarette smoke. Some idiot right downstairs below the window just lit up. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, and, and what's m really important to us also in addition to wholesome food is oxygen-rich air. Yeah. Right? We need it. Mm -hmm. Right? This is some of the things we emphasize mm -hmm. at the boot camp, right? Mm -hmm. See? Simple things. Water. Mm -hmm. Oxygen-rich yeah. air. Activity. Just get up and move. Yeah. Right? All this instant everything where you have to... You know, some people have to clock the it. lights the to come off. Of clock it off. <laughs> Get up and turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> right in half. You go to the car and the shop, you know, going to the vehicle as opposed to walking. <laughs> yeah. They want to live an American lifestyle. You know, mm -hmm. that's what's catching a lot of Belizeans. Yes. They want to live an American lifestyle. And there are all great things that we, are, we can take from America. Yes. Right? Technology. You know, a lot of us go. I went to, to the U.S. To, to, to further my education. To you know, to learn more about technology. But I mean, when I got there, I knew that we had some things that I wanted to keep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I say, well, I come for, I come here for this. Yeah. But you know what? This I'm going to keep. Yeah. Because what you got is not right. better. No. <laughs> right? And I, I knew that. Don't trade so the coconut water for the soft drink. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> or, or, the, or the Gatorade. Yeah. Or the Gatorade. Because yeah. no, the, the, the celebrities in Hollywood now are screaming for yeah. the coconut yeah. water. Exactly. Now that they discover they say, oh yeah, we want coconut water. Coconut and coconut water is a big deal in Hollywood now. Make I tell All you. All the celebrities. Make I tell you, there goes my Creole. See, I do have a little Creole. <laughs> um, you know, we used to buy coconut in mm -hmm. L.A. And mm -hmm. there is a place downtown in L.A. And every day import 50,000 cases mm -hmm. of coconuts twice a week wow. uh, from th from Thailand, twice yeah. a week. Wow. And Belize is, you know, I don't know if they're exporting them from Belize and importing mm -hmm. them into the U.S., but all of these tropical regions, they are basically getting, uh, their, their natural resources are being sold, and then they're being sold stuff that Mm -hmm. is not so natural, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. you know, and yes. the local people are not necessarily getting the benefit of the stuff that they're used yeah. to, like the seaweed. Yeah. You know that one, like maybe about four ounces of that seaweed, the same seaweed that we can buy here, is about 50 U.S. Wow. at the health food store. That's yeah. not an excuse to hike up the price of seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, let <laughs> people know that right away, but yeah. I just to say, you know, this is what it's being sold for out of, out of the country. Are you familiar with Air One? Air One, yes, yes. Yeah, it's one of my favorite stores. It's my favorite store in Health food store. Health food. That's so you'll find all of these imported stuff that's coming from places like Belize. And yeah. this is stuff that you grew up on. Mm -hmm. This is stuff that you, you know about, but not you, nobody's using it anymore because they say, oh, it's old time. We don't need mm -hmm. it anymore, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah. like you said, I don't have the back problem, but, you know, these mm -hmm. things are, are what we need, you know. Yeah. So No. Uh, Back oh. to live. Let's um okay. I think somebody might have a question or comment here. Well, good, Love, morning. good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Good morning. Are you hearing me? We're yes, hearing we are. you, yes. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum well, salam. Hey, yes, very good. <laughs> Malik. Yes, man, go right ahead. <laughs> um I do with you with the right thank you. How are you? Um I just have one addition to the conversation. In addition to all the nutritious intake, etc. We also have the other component, like we said, no clap your hand, I'm going to say, get up and do it. <laughs> Apart from the, the omission of certain lifestyle, you also have to do the commission, you have to do something to compensate. Like, you don't, you don't have to do weight loss because you're going to exercise. Mm -hmm. that's not help. We yeah. don't have to do weight loss or whatever you want to reduce. You have to get out there and Yes. Boot 
camp. You have to build up one sweat. Yeah. Walking briskly or riding a bike or jogging. Yeah. The third component, and I have not heard that part yet, and I will add it on. You also have to pray. And I know you're going to China while in Belize. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Good. So you know what talk about. Yeah, absolutely. I do it well, though. Really, I know what. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. You do have to have the spiritual aspect of it, you know? Absolutely. And, you know, you may not, you, one may pray to Jesus, may, one may pray to Celestia, one may pray, but nonetheless, you do have to have that spiritual aspect of who mm -hmm. you are because we are spiritual beings first, mm -hmm. you know? Every, and, and even when it comes to disease, every disease, disease really starts on a spiritual level. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. on the spiritual and emotional level, and it manifests on the physical level. But because we're living in a physical world, mm -hmm. um, it's really important for us. Well, most people are going to start with the physical. And as they dig deeper and they detox and they dig mm -hmm. deeper and they dig deeper and they stop eating certain foods that have certain energy mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. food has energy, you are what you consume. Mm -hmm. If someone is angry when they prepare your food, you'll probably get gas. You know, so these are things, this is why our parents didn't just eat from anybody. Mm -hmm. The spiritual aspect of mm -hmm. your consumption is important. Yes, you must pray. You must do these things. People, you know, a lot of times people get hungry and they go, oh, and they eat. They don't even pray before they eat. They don't give thanks for the food in the hands that prepared it. You know, so we do have to bring that spiritual aspect in for sure. Um, okay, let's see. If, and I think uh, we have to take our final break. Our yeah. final break as well. Okay. Love, good morning. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm listening to your show. I like the program. Um, can I ask a question? Go right ahead. What can I use for bleeding also in my stomach? I listen up on it. Okay. Okay, thanks. Uh, the, the, oh, the seaweed is, is really good for that. Um, also, stay away from anything that uh, causes acid in the stomach. So, any caffeine, um, uh, also any hard, hard, uh, hard stuff. You know, they, 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 need, they need the time for that to, that heal. to heal. So mm -hmm. aloe vera is a great thing to drink, yeah, so but not just aloe vera juice. Because if you look at the aloe vera plant, the aloe vera heals and yes. mends itself, yes. right? Mm -hmm. If you cut it, it'll go whoop in a yeah. week. It, it's not even cut anymore. So the same thing happens for your system. But it really is important. It, what you want to do is juice it. The first thing you do before you eat or drink anything mm -hmm. is you juice it or you squeeze out the, the gel mm -hmm. and you just drink down the gel and follow it with some coconut water mm -hmm. and you just let that sit. But you want to do it a week on and a week off because the aloe vera does clean out and flush out the flora. So you have to bring down the inflammation, you know. Yes. Ulcer is, is inflammation. Yes. So that, that would be a good start. But giving up other stuff for a period of time is really important because she could drink all the aloe vera she wants mm -hmm. to. And she get, you drink all the seaweed she wants to, but if she's still you doing other yes, things, so, okay. if she drinks any alcohol, cut out the alcohol. It burns the system. It we have gotten to a point where there is no longer a silver bullet for everything. Yes. It's just because then we, th there is a, a number of stuff going on that we are taking into our system. I mean, we have three portals, right? We have our ingestion that's where stuff mm -hmm. comes in then we have inhalation and then we have absorption this is the big one right uh, you know ingestion is fine your body has its line of defense along your digestive tract so your body that's your body's strength the one we're really weak to is absorption because first of all we're just learning about it if you're hearing a lot know about a patch for this and a patch for that because we've suddenly discovered that that's a very rapid way of getting um, medication to the source. Just put a patch on the skin. The skin absorbs it. It goes straight to the source. So, but what, what, we, what, what we need to think about now that we understand the power of this is how important it is to be aware of what we're putting on our skin and in our hair because it's going straight to the skin. To our to the, system. the other right. thing really quick is that really if she's taking any um, like uh, aspirin or any of this kind mm -hmm. of uh, medication, Motrin, 
all of this causes yeah the lining ulcer, ulcers mm-hmm. okay exactly. um and and it causes the these bleeding in mm-hmm. the in the digestive system so any kind of medication uh, if she's taken any antibiotics mm-hmm. Antibiotics is another thing, Mm -hmm. you know, so these medications more than anything will cause a a lot of the aggravation in those areas, but the aloe vera will help heal it. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, pain medications is number one culprit for having these kind of conditions. And and what she wants to really consider taking is alkaline water. Alkaline water. Okay, we need to take a final break and we'll come back. You know a lot of girls have a lot to say about no use condom. They say, feel better without it, or adjust more pleasure. Me and my dogs, eh? we like party like everybody else. But we not fool. When it comes to condom, we only got one choice. Strap it or stop it. A lot of players say they want all the pleasure. And I day, eh? you see, I want pleasure too. Pleasure for finish school, get a good job. But most of all, I want the pleasure for get married and have my own family one of these days. So when it comes to sex, I make sure I get all the pleasures. No, but one of them, so that later on I could enjoy all the other pleasures in a life. bucket list and plan to start fulfilling them someday. Anytime now. Don't worry, babe. You can do it. Go, Mom! You can do it! Why not turn someday into today with an easy credit personal loan? Atlantic Bank can make it happen. We offer loans at competitive interest rates with low monthly payments for all your financing needs. Because life should be easy. How was it, Mom? It was good. Atlantic (laughs) Bank, building the future together. It's delicious. Oh, great, I'm so anxious. Because I'm falling in love.
Smart wants to take you on the ultimate reggae cruise. Welcome to Jam Rock Cruise, hosted by Damien Junior Gung Molly. Welcome to Jam Rock. Five nights on a luxury cruise to Montego Bay and Ocho Rios, Jamaica. Delicious food and, of course, reggae concerts featuring artists like Sean Paul, Jacques Yor, Shaggy, Busy Signal, Morgan Heritage, Taurus Riley, and much more. To enter, text in to you win 8946 one dollar per chance or talk for 10 minutes in a day and automatically enter to win this opportunity of a lifetime for you and three of your bff play tickets included so talk and text it up and win with smart welcome to jamrock the ultimate reggae cruise because bigger is better with smart bigger is better with smart smart bringing people together All right, we're back and we're wrapping up our discussion, quite a discussion this Wonderful morning. We discussion. really enjoyed it. Uh, but back to live, you mentioned you're at the bliss, but you're undergoing mm. some changes. We're undergoing some construction. We, w we should be back after the 16th of this month. Um, and our hours will be Monday through Friday uh, from 10 until about 4 p.m. every day. We do have a website too, www.backtolivefoods.com. That's B A C K, the number two, L I V E F O O D S.com. And we have a phone number, 669 9360. And you can also see me on Facebook under Chef India Camille. Like the country, India, and then Camille, C A M I E L. And you can see all of the foods and all of the drinks and even some recommendations on how to fast and everything. You can subscribe through our website. We have a, we a monthly newsletter that we put out as well for people. So okay. it's free. It's free of charge. But again, we're going to be, be be back open after the 16th. So nobody go and show up yet. At the place, you know? there's nothing there. Um, but give us a call anyways if you want to talk, if you have some questions, mm -hmm. or you just want to know more about our programs. And then come see us after the 16th when we're nice and remodeled and everything is fresh and brand new. All <laughs> right. And well, of course, likewise, we want to send people to the website. That's where our information is. Uh, www.beliesfitbodyclinic.com. And we have a weekly newsletter. Yes. We got a lot like of that. information <laughs> to disseminate because there's a whole lot of misconception when it comes to exercise and fitness and all this stuff. So um, you can subscribe to the newsletter at the website. And um, also, once you get on our mailing list, you get a ton of information because we believe in dribbling it out. Um, we believe that repetition is the matter of learning. So if you hear things over and over, uh, then you start you know, adapting it. It becomes yours eventually. Mr. Ed Williams, mm -hmm. Chef India Camille, thank you very much thank for coming you. in and it's a wonderful spending morning. some time with us this morning. I appreciate it. And so Julia, pleasure. we've got to leave. So let me say thank you to our crew. We're announcer on duty, Armin Arana, cameraman, Renabi and Weber III, Terence Rayburn, the master third. control operator, William Usher, producer, Charmaine Garcia, to all our callers, our listeners, and viewers. Thank you. So, that being said, we had some wonderful smoothies this morning. Yes, healthy um, stuff. On behalf of the entire staff, good morning, Belize and beyond. Thanks for choosing love. Here's to your health. Bye bye. All right.
I did my